Hi, good morning all and welcome to HDFC Securities exclusive webinar on Digify, the most awaited topic. Right. So today we will be understanding what is Digify, how to open this account, the entire registration process and your investment journey with HDFC Securities Digify account. Right. So let's try to understand what exactly is Digify. Digify is an online paperless mutual funds account for which you don't have to submit any uh, paperwork and uh, you don't have to do any physical visits. This account can be open instantly. Now about mutual funds, as you all know that uh, nowadays mutual funds have become one of the most popular product, right? And that definitely shows why, because if you see the journey of mutual funds, it started in uh, 1964 being UTI as the first asset management company. And uh, the amount which was invested by various investors, which is called AUM, Asset Under Management, as on 1988 was about 6,700 crores. Later, many AMCs came providing various different schemes. And as on 31st May 2014, the mutual funds AUM crossed the first milestone of having 10 lakh crores as AUM. So this clearly defines that customers are interested and people are investing big time in mutual funds. Various investors, that can be FIIs, that can be DIIs, that can be retail investors. Everybody is investing in mutual funds. It is a must product nowadays. Now, as on 31st July 2018, the current AUM as per 31st July, it is 23 lakhs almost. So if you see the increase in the last 10 years, it's about four times. And if you see the increase in the last five years, that's about three times. So all the customers who are already existing customers who are holding the three in one account that's DMAT trading and savings account, they can definitely do the investments in mutual funds from that account. However, those holdings would be the, uh, the format would be a DMAT form. But those customers who do not have a DMAT account or do not hold HDFC's savings bank account for them and, and even for the existing holders. Digify can be the best product because Digify account can be opened by any individual who is above the age of 18 years. Right? So it is very simple. I will take you through the process. Now, what are the specific advantages for Digify account is it is free of cost. There is no account opening cost. There is no maintenance cost, no annual maintenance cost, nothing. So that's the best part. Right. And even existing account holders, as I said, if you want, you can also open. Now, if you will ask if I already hold the DMAT account, then why should I open Digify? Now, Digify offers some exclusive features like SWP and STP. SWP is systematic withdrawal plan and STP is systematic transfer plan. These two functionality is available in Digify. Right? Plus, you can link multiple bank account with this Digify account. You can link maximum of five different bank accounts with this Digify account. So you open the account, the step is like, steps are like this, you open the account, you link your bank account with this Digify account and start your investment right away. Right? You can do, you can save taxes as well. You can invest in ELSS schemes of mutual funds and you can get tax benefit also. Right? You receive physical statements from respective AMCs as well about your uh, investments. Now let's try to over to my computer screen and I will show you how to open this Digify account. What, what are the steps involved? What information you require? Okay. So you just have to log into hdfcsecurities.com and here you can see the icon as Digify. Right. So the moment you click on this icon Digify, it is asking you either to log in or to sign up. Right. You need to click on sign up if you are opening the account for the first time. Now here it is asking to enter name, mobile number and email ID. So you can mention your name. Your registered mobile number.
and then it will ask you to verify the OTP. You just need to click on this. Now the moment you enter the details, you will receive an OTP and once you enter the OTP, then it will ask you to enter your PAN number. So now you just need to enter your PAN number. Okay. Now why PAN number registration is important is because uh, PAN card is mandatory in order to open this Digify account. Now what happens here, just a small update I want to provide, uh, earlier it was like, even today it is like in order to invest in mutual funds, the investor should be KRA KYC verified, right? So your KRA KYC status has to be compliant. Where you can check that? You can check that through CVL KRA website. Just go to www.cvlkra.com, click on KYC enquiry, enter your PAN number and the CAPTCHA code, you can see your status, whether you are compliant or you are not compliant, right? If you are already KRA KYC compliant, then there is absolutely no problem. You can seamlessly start your investment right away. Now, in case if you are not KRA KYC compliant, then in that scenario, if, uh, if, the, if the investor is a fresh investor doing it for the first time, so for them what we have launched, we have launched eKYC functionality. Under eKYC, it will be done through Aadhaar CD. So you need to enter your Aadhaar number and ensure that your mobile number is updated in your Aadhaar number. So the moment you click eKYC, once you enter the PAN, it will check your KRA KYC status. If you are not KRA KYC compliant, it will ask you the process of going through eKYC. Just click on it, enter your Aadhaar number. You will receive an OTP on your Aadhaar registered mobile number. So enter that OTP and then you can start your investments. However, the limitation to that is you can invest maximum up to 50,000 rupees per year per AMC. So you can at least start your investments and in the meanwhile, you can get your complete uh, KYC done. In order to do that, you need to download the KRA KYC application form and then you just need to enter your, uh, fill that up, fill up that form, attach your PAN card and your residence proof, get it. OSV and IPV done with the bank officials or HDFC securities officials and submit it to any of the nearest KRA agency that scams, Carvi, DOTX, NDML and your KRA KYC status will be updated to as KYC registered. But once you do eKYC, still it will display as eKYC and that can be done through our website by entering the Aadhaar number, right? Now over to my computer screen. So once you enter the PAN number and the other details and click on proceed, you will get a, a six digit OTP on your registered mobile number. So we are going through the registration process again, entering the name. Mobile number and click on uh, enter the email ID and just click on verify OTP. So now OTP has been sent on the registered mobile number. You just need to enter the OTP.
enter the OTP and click on proceed. Now it is asking to enter the PAN number. So you can simply enter your PAN number over here. And click on proceed so this is showing your pan has been successfully verified if it has been assisted by any of your uh, relationship manager so you can just enter the facilitator code or else you just simply enter the captcha code which has been shown over here and then click on validate pan however this account can be opened only by a resident individual so here you can see the status is showing of this customer as KYC verified. If it would not, then here it would have been displayed your KRA status is not verified. And then it would have been given you an option of doing an eKYC. So that point of time, if you click on eKYC, it will ask you to enter your Aadhaar number and you will receive an OTP. Then you click on proceed. Once you click on proceed, it is asking you to complete your profile, your status, whether you are single, your date of birth. Enter the date of birth, click on proceed. So you need to be sure that all the information that you enter has to be accurate as per the, your KRA KYC information then only it will proceed further. Even if you click on need the want to know more, the details are displayed over here. So ensure that the information that you enter has to be accurate. click on proceed so once you click on proceed now it is asking you to enter your bank account details you can enter any of your bank account information re-enter your bank account details Enter the IFSC code. Select the account type that is your savings account, your holding pattern. And just click on proceed.
So the moment you enter your bank details and you enter uh, because this is a dummy uh, testing that we are doing. So your bank account has been added successfully. Then it is asking you your FATCA declaration. So you just have to click on proceed. And then it is asking you your income range and your net worth and your other details. You can just simply click on proceed. And your account has been successfully created. And then you click on proceed. So this is how simple it is to create this mutual fund account, which have taken nearly just about three to five minutes. So once your information is handy with you, once your information is handy with you, that's your PAN card number, your mobile number and OTP validations, your bank account details, you can simply add it within just within three to five minutes, the account gets open, right? And once the account is open, now let me tell you how uh, the logged in section looks like and how you can place the various transactions into it. So now over to my computer screen. So you can see uh, the default login is taking you to our research page wherein as this account is purely for mutual funds. So you can see uh, our recommendations that is at present for one time investment and SIP. Okay, both the things you can see and here we have given need based recommendations for you. So either you can look out for high risk, high return or you're looking for good returns, low risk or you want to park your idle money for short term or you want to save taxes. You can select any of them and couple of uh, very nice details what I've liked about here is you can see the uh, any of the scheme information which is displayed but this Aditya Birla is displayed NAV is displayed R returns from last one year three years and five years are displayed what is the AUM so this AUM verifies that how much amount people have invested so approximately 15,000 crores of rupees have been invested in this particular scheme okay. and this is also showing if you have invested 1 lakh for 3 years, 1 lakh rupees 3 years back, you would have got 1 lakh 22,420. Okay. And the value research rating. So this scheme has been rated as 5 star. So you can simply click on show details. This is again a very uh, good thing. If you click on show details, it gives you your risk barometer, which is showing if it is in green, that means it is having the lowest risk. And if it is in high, in red, it is having the high risk as we have selected high risk, high return scheme, right? So here you can see the fund overview, the exit load information. You want to see specific performance of the scheme against the benchmark. So you can see the benchmark, how the benchmark is performing and how better the particular fund manager have uh, performed when he beats the benchmark. So that information is displayed over here. So in one year you can see the benchmark have given 15.35 returns. However, the fund manager made it 16.34. And now you want to see the portfolio of this scheme. So you can simply click on portfolio. Here you can see the sectoral allocation. And here you can see the top five sectors where they have invested and the top five holdings. And also, if you want to have a comparison with the peers, with the peer company schemes, you can see that by clicking on peer comparison. So this micro window gives you information about the scheme, the overview, the performance and peer comparison. Right. Now here we have also added one functionality of add to cart, just like you do it on other e-commerce sites. So simply uh, if you are doing five to six investments at a time, so no need to make payment five times every time. So you can simply, you can keep on adding into the cart and once you're done with it, you can simply proceed to checkout and whatever may be your investment uh, transaction numbers and say for example you have done five transactions which are valuating to 50,000 only once you have to log into your net bank banking for doing the payment. So that's the best part out here, right? So in this way you can analyze the schemes and you can let, let me just put it to add to cart. I'll show you the SIP also. So now it is asking me add to cart option wherein I have to ensure that it is a one-time investment. How much amount I want to invest say for example 1 lakh. Now, since this is a fresh account, so no folios have been generated. So by default, it will be new folio, just add. So this order has been successfully added to your cart. Right. Now let's try to put an SIP order. So you click on SIP Reckoner next to it.
and now again in SIPs also we have bifurcated in the similar way so you can simply kill, select which scheme that you want to go with if for example as per our research recommended DSP natural resource scheme if you want to start an SIP you want to see the scheme related information you can see in this scheme 412.3 crores have been invested so far and if you click on show details again you can see the peer comparison you can see the portfolio of the scheme the overview and the performance right now you simply click on start SIP so once you click on start SIP now here uh, to all my viewers uh, important information I want to share uh, in order to create an SIP we have about 21 banks as per the exchange 21 banks are listed if you are holding account in those 21 banks you can set up SIP with us however one time investment can be done from any of your bank account that you are holding who is providing a net banking facility why I am telling you this is because here you need to in order to create an SIP SIP is a systematic investment plan wherein you decide an amount and you decide a tenure and in that scheme every month that SIP would be deducted automatically from your bank account right SIPs are always considered as disciplined ap approach towards the saving so the, with the small amount every month you keep on investing it grows and uh, over the years of time when you see you have generated a good wealth creation right now in order to set up an SIP you have to create a SIP mandate so here I will show you what is the process of creating SIP mandate and once that mandate is created a mandate ID is generated which you also receive SMS on your mobile number then you have to go to your net banking in your net banking you have to click on add biller and under that you need to select BAC as a biller BAC mutual fund and there you have to enter this mandate ID and click submit so then what will happen this mandate ID which you have generated now will be linked as you have registered it in the bank also so your subsequent installments will be directly debited to your bank account with that ID and the payment would be successfully released so now let's again over to my computer screen how to make this mandate ID so here you have selected how much amount you want to invest say for example you want to do an SIP of 5000 a month and you are doing it for uh, next three years here you have a start date option so the whatever may be the start date options available you can select if you want your own you don't want 26 27 you want every first of the month to be so you can select the first of the month and here you can see select mandate since you would not have any mandate ID if it's a fresh account so you need to click on add new mandate now when you click on add new mandate you get the below drop down which is showing it as SIP your bank account is IFSC code here it is showing the amount so here you need to be very careful you no need to enter the SIP amount this is a mandate amount right what this means this means that in a particular day per transaction you are allowing this much amount so if you are doing an SIP of 5000 and you put 5000 over here so if you are doing an SIP of 10,000 it will not process so my suggestion here would be you can keep the maximum amount so say for example here I am keeping it as 5 lakhs or 50 lakhs whatever would be my requirement I can accordingly put. Let's take for an example as 50,000 right I can put the amount my maximum limit in a day would be 50,000 per transaction per day right and then I just need to click on submit. The moment I click on submit a new mandate ID would be generated new mandate ID have been successfully added and there will be a mandate ID number also you can see the same you will receive on your mobile number also so you will receive this mandate ID on your mobile number now what you need to do is you need to go to net banking and I will show you how to add the biller in HDFC bank account so you just need to go to your Net banking
just need to click on login continue to net banking and your net banking has been successfully added now you just need to go to pay bill and recharge you can see the mutual funds has been displayed over here right you can once you log into your net banking you will be on account status just click on pay, bill bill pay and recharge here you can see as mutual funds click on continue it will take you to the biller page just you have to go to my biller and add and pay bills once you click on add and pay bills the fifth option you can see as mutual funds just click on it and here you can see various amc's name however you can see bsc limited also the moment you click on bsc limited and you click on continue it will ask you to enter your mandate id that's your unique registration number so that mandate id that bsc 000572 will be added so you need to enter that here enter the short name your nickname whatever you wish and just click on continue once you click on continue your mandate id would be successfully registered and then you can your subsequent installments will be debited directly from your bank account right and then you can simply click on proceed from here and confirm so you need to log in again and the best part is that here you need no need to remember any new login id right so simply you can enter your mobile number or your email address it is validated by the otp so every time you enter you need to enter your mobile number and just simply enter your otp which you will receive on your registered mobile number and just click on proceed and your account would be successfully logged in so here we have added this scheme let me show you once again that i want to invest 10000 in this scheme oh, sorry 1 lakh as an lump sum it was successfully added to your card then coming back to the sip you can see the sip reckoner over here it takes a little a few seconds to load because it has been taking from our research reckoner you saw dsp or natural or uh, you are do you want to do an sip you just click on add to cart or you want to do it with sbi mutual funds regular scheme you just need to click on add to cart the moment you click on add to cart it is asking the sip amount how much you want to invest so i want to put 5000 a month in frequency and i want to do it for 3 years simply i can select a date i wanted every first of the month to be debited and uh, it will be new folio mandate id i can select what now here in this you can see multiple because there are multiple ids have been added for testing purpose here you can add the mandate id which you have registered and just you need to click on add so this order is also successfully added right now let me show you the payment process for that you just need to go to your cart and you can see all the schemes that you have already registered over here right if you do not want any of you want to delete any of them you can simply delete from here or whatever has been displayed your total amount would be displayed how much investment you are doing for the day and you just click on confirm it will give you a snapshot of everything you click on proceed and then it will redirect you to your net banking so whichever bank account that you have registered it will redirect to that particular net banking you just enter your user id and your net banking credentials and it will be successfully added your payment will be done and your you are done with your investments so we can see now it's almost 30 minutes so far 
and within 30 minutes we have done the product know-how we have created the account we have added the bank account right and we have also done the investment and we have made the payment also so this is how simple it is to open this digify account in quick simple steps by entering your pan number or aadhar number add your bank account details select the schemes that you want to invest and start your investments now let me show you a few other information on digify so over to my computer screen so here you can see uh, as i have gone through the questions and many of the investors have asked which are the good schemes to invest so here let me tell you if you are looking out for one time investment you can click here if you are looking for regular monthly sip you can click on this and here you can see basis the tab that you will select you the schemes would be displayed so accordingly you can take a call and you can select the scheme you can give the scheme information over here and you can start your investments now we have a portfolio view whatever investments you have done you simply have to click on your portfolio and your portfolio would be displayed so wherein you will find the current valuation you will find the purchase value which is your gain and loss and your annualized return you can see your asset allocation uh, how it has been done in equities uh, asset class wise and in specific amc wise which all amcs you have invested here uh, let me tell you that uh, with this account you can invest in all the amcs which are available in the market and you can uh, invest in all the schemes which are there so and then segment wise in equity or in balance or in debt which type of scheme so this pie chart allocation would be displayed and your portfolio valuation it would be displayed in this way and if you go below you can see your market cap allocation so in your uh, investments how much is invested into small cap how much is invested into focused equity or in sectoral or in mid cap would be displayed what are your top 10 holdings it has been displayed here what are your top 10 sectors it will be displayed here so this helps you to take more informed decision if you see there is a sudden increase in the banking and finance sector so you can expect the same in your holdings that that it will affect up to 6.24% so that that information is displayed over here right you can view your portfolio so if you want to have a grid view which you were viewing earlier now you want to have a list view you can simply click on it and in the bottom you can see your transaction information and in any of them if you want to say for example view what transactions you have done you just need to click on this first small this arrow here you need to click if you click on this edit button you can see from this scheme you can invest more you can start a new sip you can redeem that you can withdraw or you can do stp or swp or a switch now let me tell you stp swp and a switch these three functionalities can be done within the same fund house right that means if you are using hdfc amc so this three activities you can do within hdfc amc is in any of the schemes right now let me tell you the concept of stp and swp also swp is systematic withdrawal plan so say for example if you have already created a corpus of mutual funds and then you want to set up a swp from it rather than withdrawing full amount you can set up a swp systematic withdrawal plan of 5000 rupees a month so every month 5000 rupees will be credited to your bank account from that scheme if you have a corpus in that scheme stp is systematic transfer plan in this what happens generally what investors do they if you have a huge corpus of say for example 5 lakh rupees so instead of invest or keeping that 5 lakh rupees in savings account you can simply keep that 5 lakh rupees in a liquid mutual fund liquid mutual fund will not have any minimum holding period it will not attract any exit load right you can keep it for short term you can keep it as many like the way you are keeping it in savings account you can keep it in liquid because liquid mutual funds comparatively give better returns than the saving account so it is better to make money out of money right so 5 lakh rupees i have put across in a liquid mutual fund hdfc liquid mutual funds now from here i want to start a investment of 10000 a month so i can start a stp which is systematic transfer plan so from liquid mutual fund it will go to a equity or a debt or a balanced mutual fund 
and the regular investment will be made. So from that 5 lakh corpus, you are which is already earning on liquid mutual funds, right from there you have set up an STP in a separate equity scheme or a debt scheme and that SIP is running. That is called STP. Right? And even any given point of time with that 5 lakh only you are looking out for some withdrawal, you can from there you can set up a SWP as well. So SWP can be done in any of the mutual fund holdings that you are holding at present. So it can be liquid, it can be already existed corpus in any equity or debt scheme. So that is the beauty of this particular scheme. Digify account offers you these special functionalities. Right. And if you want to see what are the transactions happened, now over to my computer screen now. If you want to see what are the transactions happened in this particular uh, investment, you can simply click on this arrow and you can see the transactions and the debits that have happened. Okay. So in this way, you can evaluate your, evaluate your portfolio. Then we have a next option of reports. Here you can see various different reports, right, of the scheme. So you can see this order has been ordered, status has been accepted. However, the payment is not made. So it is blinking. So it is telling you pay now. So by any chance, if you forgot to pay, make the payment of any of your order that you have placed by clicking on this report section, you can simply do a pay now option. here. You can see your remarks, you can modify or you can cancel this order. So in this report section, you can do the information. And this is your one time investment summary. You want to see your SIP summary from here. You can see your SIP summaries. So these, this SIP is already running, right? You can, you cannot modify, you can cancel. If you wish to cancel, you can cancel from here. And whatever the SWP, STP and switch that you have done, it would be displayed over here in this fashion. So you get a clear view what is happening, right? What has been going on from your schemes? You have done this multiple activities and you think it is complex. Then my answer to that is it is not because the transparency is there. Right? Complexities are required in order to, if you are looking out for a professional investment options, if you want to manage our money much professionally, we want to beat the inflation and we want to highly focused on our wealth creation. So you have to, these products are very much useful. All other investors are using. We have made it simplified by launching this specific Digify account and we have made this very transparent by adding this SWV STP switch report. So from here you can see what is the switch that you have made from one scheme to another scheme in the same fund house. What are the SWPs that are running? What are the STPs that are running? And from which scheme that are running? You can see all these details here. Then you can also see your capital gain or loss. So whatever your capital gains you have made, you can select the year from here and you can, as this is a recently launched account, we have newly launched this. So that's why only last two years are displayed over here. Right? And then your period and you can see your details over here. Right? Now, if you have done any uh, investment into because I could see a lot of investors were also asking about the dividend schemes. So if you invest in dividend payout schemes, in that what happens, you invest your money and you get in that particular scheme, the fund manager invests in those companies who give regular dividends. That is the reason in return, you also get a regular income, a regular dividend as an income, which will be credited to your bank account. So that dividend history, you can see from here, right? Your holding report, your overall holding, you can see here, a macro level view, you can see here. Again, by clicking on this edit button, you can do invest more SIP, withdrawal, STP, SWP or switch, or you can view the transaction details, right? Then you have my SIP renewal report. Now this is also a very good uh, initiative, I would say. All your SIPs, which you have already started, Definitely you would have selected for three years, for five years. The moment your SIPs are about to expire, so 30 days before, one month before, that SIP will be start displaying over here. So this gives you an idea, okay, my this particular SIP is going to expire next month. Let me quickly renew it so that my investment is continued. Right? And a most important information your for ELSS customers for who are doing it for tax saving, you want your tax statement it is available here. You click on my tax statement. So whatever investments that you have done under ELS scheme to get the tax benefit under ATC, you do the investments. Once the investment is successfully done, you can come here and you can see your tax statement. You can simply take a printout of this and you can submit it to your HR 
for uh, as a proof of your investment done in ATC for your tax benefit. So that is how simple it is. So as we can see uh, here uh, viewers that within 40 minutes we have learned everything about we have learned everything about what is Digify, how to open the account, the account opening process, bank account linkage and we have also seen how to place a transaction and the various reports. And again, let me tell you, this account comes to you absolutely free of cost. There is no account opening cost attached to it. There is no annual maintenance cost also. Right. So that's all for now for Digify. Now we are open for question and answers. So viewers, please ask the questions you have in your mind. I will be happy to answer them. So this first question I'm getting from Mr. Kalipada Ghosh. Mr. Ghosh is asking as SWP, as SWP from debt funds involve short term, long term capital gain loss, is it? So answer to that Mr. Ghosh is that if you are investing in any scheme and when you are generating returns, it is subject to tax depending upon which category it is. Now you have asked it for debt. So if you have done investment in debt and you are putting a SWP, definitely you are earning some returns out of it. And as per that, as per the rule, the debt income received from the debt mutual funds are taxable. Whether it is short term or it is long term, both are taxable. Short term would be as per your slab, as per your salary slab, as per your tax slab. And long term, which is after three years, which you have generated the returns, that will be charged 20% with indexation. So you will get indexation benefit in debt. However, the equities are concerned. If it is short term capital gain, yes, it will be taxable, which is at 15%. If it is long term capital gain, it is free up to 1 lakh. More than 1 lakh, there will be 10%. So moving towards the next question. So Mr. Prabhat Parida is asking, which is the best mutual fund to invest now? And uh, few many other customers are also asking what are the the best performing mutual funds in fact 10 to 15 customers have asked this question so answer to that is that sir once you log into your digify account it will take you to our research reckoner now it depends upon your investment style whether you are looking for a one time investment or you want to do a monthly sip that can be done you can check our research reckoner under which category what is your risk appetite that you are comfortable with and you can accordingly make the investments. So the out of that is why our research team, our research reckoner, we have made it easy for you. Out of so many AMCs available, out of thousands of schemes available in the market, in our research reckoner, we have kept the top performing schemes. And again, in top performing schemes also, we have given four quadrants. What type of investor you are? Are you looking for high risk, high return, low risk, good return, or you're looking out for parking money for short term that is liquid? or you are looking out for saving taxes. So these four quadrants will help you once you click on any of them. It will then show you the best schemes available in the category. You can see the returns, you can see the AUM, you can see the performance rating and you can start your investments. Let's move to the next question. So this question is asked by Mr. Venkat. He is asking, can I invest in mutual funds direct plan option? Well, Mr. Venkat, uh, in this you can invest in regular schemes only. Let's go to the next question. Okay, so Mr. Amrit is asking how Digify is different from other broking house. What are the benefits? So uh, here I would like to add up Mr. Amrit that Digify account, of course, everyone is providing, uh, people are providing mutual funds. But Digify is an online paperless mutual fund account. If you have DMAT account, that's great. Even if you do not have a DMAT account, still you can open this account. And any resident individual who is above the age of 18 years can open the account. You no need to have mandatorily HDFC bank account to use your to do your investments. 
any of your bank account that you are holding you can link that bank account and you, who, who is providing net banking facility you can use this account and you can start your investment online just in three simple steps you can open this account the platform what we have we have created many provides you uh, you know the kind of uh, investment option but how to make it simplified is we have done that for you in digify as per our research reckoner you can see the best performing schemes you can put as an add to cart so these are the small small advantages and benefits you get you get swp stp and switch option which usually you don't get and secondly you can invest in all the various amcs which are available so sitting at home anytime all you need just a computer and an internet working and you can do your transactions right let's move to the next question So this question is asked by Miss Leela. She is asking, "I already have your trading account. Can I open this Digify account?" So answer to this question is yes, Miss Leela. If you are already having DMAT account, it is irrespective of that you can open Digify account because in our HDFC three-in-one account, you do not get a facility of SWP and STP in that. So with this Digify, you can open and you can keep this account exclusively for your mutual fund investments. You can do that. even any of your family members who wants to do investments in mutual fund even they can open the account so this question is asked by mr shrinivasan he is asking please explain mutual funds clearly uh mr shrinivasan i have done exclusive webinar for mutual funds so i would request you last week only so i would request you please visit our youtube channel and to all our viewers we have our dedicated youtube channel you just have to log into youtube in your mobile app and just type in hdfc securities the moment you type hdfc securities you just subscribe to that channel and press the bell icon go to playlist under the playlist you will see webinars so in that you can see mutual funds webinar i have done exclusively wherein i have explained what is mutual fund what are the advantages of mutual funds right so you can check that out from there so this question is asking by ms bimla uh, bimla devi she is asking is it the right time to invest in equity mutual funds so here let me tell you ma'am there is if we say the right time the right time is the time wherein we decide what i prefer there is no right time or wrong time the moment i realize i want to do my investment is the best time and to start up with that i go with sip because sip is such a fantastic product it gives me rupee cost averaging so i participate in the entire market cycle whether if the markets are high i am invest i am entering into that even when the markets are low i am entering into that so with that i get the benefit of you know rupee cost averaging if you see since inception the our uh, markets have given uh, the returns of approximately 15% so despite being the best time and the worst time the average returns are that much so it is always advisable because for savings and investments i would say sooner the better don't wait for any time immediately you have funds start an sip you start sip you participate in the entire market cycle okay so this has been asked by mr venkat can my mutual fund investments in my trading account will be migrated to digify so answer to that is no of course you can do that also but for that you have to convert because the mutual funds that you are holding in your dmat account is in a dmat form and the mutual funds in digify account is in physical forms right so in order to do that you need to convert rematerialize that from the uh, your dmat to physical and then physical to here 
so we will take the last question for the day this question is asked by miss rishika she is asking can i do sip and mutual fund investments with this yes miss rashika this account is exclusively for mutual fund investments so you can do sip you can do one time investments also now let me navigate to our website of uh, one question quickly i am getting here let me just take this by mr shrikant uh, where should i find ells schemes in digify so over to my computer screen now i will show you where you can find the digify uh, ells schemes and i will also show you the faq part which is available on our website right so over to my computer screen so when you click on make investments you can see this four quadrants as i was this as i was telling you as per your need analysis here is the option of save taxes you click on save taxes and here you can see these out of our reckoner these are the ells tax saving scheme aditya birla tax relief 96 growth fund is there invesco india tax plan is there and idfc tax advantage followed by access long term equity so these are at present four recommendation from our research team from our research reckoner about the ells schemes you can see the value research rating you can see the return categorization and basis that you can do your investment in ells so now let me show you where you can find out the various future faq list which will help you to understand more so here let me just tell you what are the options available so for that you just have to simply log into our website that's hdfcsec.com and just go to the bottom of the extreme bottom and there you will find the list of faq so on under account opening you click on faq list now the beauty of this faq list is it not only provides you information on digify but on our various products and services you get the information right so simply you can just click on faq then the faq list would be displayed over here and then you need to go to a little on extreme bottom again and click on view more the moment you click on view more you can see the various information uh, you can select the specific product type that you are looking at and uh, by with the drop down there will be a drop down it will be displayed over there you select from there just click on d you can see digify available and you will get the relevant questions available right there right in this way so here you click on it you get the drop down all these questions are displayed over here so you can see account opening budget buyback cover order currency derivatives so all other information is also displayed over here simply digify is also there so you click on digify and your any specific question related to digify would be displayed over here earlier i have told you there are 21 banks which are listed with us who provide the sip service so if you want to see the list of those bank accounts you need to go below and you can see which banks are allowed for icip transaction on digify platform so these are the list of 21 banks if you have account in this you can do sip as well as lump sum however if you do not have account with this in any of them but some other bank then if that bank is providing you net banking facility then you can very well do a one time investment through that but for doing an sip you cannot do you have to have account in any of these 21 bank accounts right thank you so much for joining and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this session thank you so much for joining 
and i wish you have a wonderful uh, day ahead thank you